actually were like cracking each other up. Like, and I feel like it gives you some context, you know? I have like a list of things I'd love to achieve. Yes, I yeah. love that. of January today. I just got home from Arms' house. I stayed there last night because I went to Mile End, which is where Laz lives, to go do some road trip planning. Uh, we didn't really even end up doing any planning. We ended up just going for dinner. And then, uh, so it's about an hour and 15 minutes from me to get to Laz's. On a bad day, it's an hour and a half. Like if I miss a tube or like if a train's delayed, it will take me an hour and a half at most. It took me an hour and 20 minutes to get there. It took me three hours to get home. Three hours. One of the tube lines was closed. And the worst part is my friend Ned, he was going back to Victoria, which I can get home easily from Victoria. I wanted to go a different route because it was the way that I came in and it's a direct train, it's so easy. So I was like, it's fine, I'll just go this way. And he was like, um, are you sure you always end up getting lost? And I was like, it's a straight line. It's one train, like it's one change. What could go wrong? Everything is the answer to that question. Everything could go wrong. <laughs> Tube lines were closed. Then a train was cancelled because of a broken down train blocking the track. They then moved that train onto the next track. But I'd already got onto the train on the track that that train was now blocking. So I went one stop and then they kicked us off the train. Ended up at Blackfriars and I was like, great. Okay, at least I can get the Tube to Victoria from here. The Tube station was closed. So I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna get an Uber. Like, I'm done, I'm just gonna get an Uber and I'm gonna go to Arms' house, cause he's like Croydon way. Um, so at least he's closer to London than I am. So I was like, I'll just, I called him and I was like, can I just come to yours? Cause I really don't wanna go all the way back to my town. I was standing outside and there was this old man there who I'd seen on my train. Like he, he had gotten on the first train with me and then he came to the second train. Like I, he'd been, I knew he was going the same way as me, but he was just kind of like wandering around on his own. So I went over to him and I was like, are you okay? Like, where are you going? Do you need help finding somewhere to go? Because to be honest, I'm also struggling to get where I need to be. And he was like, I need to get to East Croydon. And I was like, I'm going to East Croydon. <laughs> I was like, don't worry, I've just booked an Uber. You can come in my Uber with me. So anyway, we ended up going, getting the Uber to Victoria and then getting the train from there. But his name was Robert and he came the whole way with me. And I ended up having a little travel buddy for about an hour and a half with this old man named Robert who was wonderful. He was such a nice man. We had, we actually were like cracking each other up, like proper telling funny stories. We showed me pictures of him in the seventies. Um, we were just having a lovely old time. He'd come all the way from Newcastle that morning. He'd been traveling all day. I didn't get back until about 8.30. He got back at the same time. He said he left his house this morning at 8.30. That's a 12 hour travel day to get from Newcastle to East Croydon. Bless his heart, he was knack, he was absolutely knack. <laughs> it was really sweet, it was really sweet. It was like a really wholesome little interaction. Um, and he like gave me loads of life advice, like, oh, you know, you're so young, like, do this, I wish I hadn't done that, blah, 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 blah. We had some like nice little kind of philosophical conversations and it kept me occupied because I didn't have my AirPods on me. So I'd much rather have a chat than sit in silence. And it was really lovely. So shout out to Robert. I also saw a man get horrifically um, verbally assaulted. Um, there was a attack because everyone was trying to get Ubers. There was a taxi driver who just pulled up on the side of the road. And this guy had come out of the station was clearly fed up of not being able to get where he needed to go. 
and he went over and asked if he was running and the guy was like no i'm not i'm waiting for somebody and this guy absolutely went in said honestly some of the most horrific things i've ever heard anyone say to anyone ever it was awful me and robert were just standing there like oh my god so i went over to the driver and i was like hi are you okay like i like that was really intense like that was a lot like are you all right like can i do anything and he was just like i'm used to it how sad is that like honestly if you're like an uber driver taxi driver and you get like verbally abused like i'm really sorry that's horrible anyway happy monday i'm gonna get on with my day <laughs> Let's do this. Hi loves, happy Tuesday. I'm just about to do my makeup really quick and it is gonna be really, oh, it is gonna be really quick. Oh my God, there is so much crap on my desk. It's actually causing me so much stress. And it is gonna be really, really quick because I'm not really filming or anything today. Obviously just vlogging. It's an editing day, but I do just want to kind of try and get ready-ish every day. Um, it makes me feel more productive. And also it means like if I do last minute need to film something or a brand needs something or I need to like pop out, it means that I'm like, you know, in a position where I can do that quickly. Everyone is talking about mixing the Vive Skin Dew with the Modern Radiance Concealer as a foundation. So while I'm not going anywhere, I thought it'd be a good time to test it. So last night I was sat alone in my home and I was having a little think about my goals for this year um I have you know some personal life goals that I'd like to hit oh my god I just put way too much on I'm gonna look like the tin man <laughs> I have got you know quite a few like personal goals some fitness goals but this year ultimately I'm not trying to like put loads of pressure on myself I'm just gonna try and do my best with every day and take every day as it comes like i'm very much on a journey with that at the moment just kind of you know taking every day the highs and the lows as they are and doing my best with what i'm given every day um and that's kind of my goal for this year you know i have like a list of things i'd love to achieve but at the end of the day i'm not putting too much pressure on myself because ultimately feeling a sense of pressure and dread is not making me enjoy life and if i hit these goals but i make myself miserable trying to do it it's not worth it to me you know some of them i'm gonna share some of them i will not but i thought while we're sat here chatting i would share some of my fitness goals with you guys i absolutely loved working with fitbit throughout last year like a brand that i genuinely truly use every single day and I just felt like it was such like a perfect, perfect campaign, perfect collaboration for me and my interests. And I use it for an absolute multitude of things. I use it to track my sleep every night, which is a huge priority of mine this year. I use it to track my steps every day because I do have a daily step goal that I like to hit just to make sure that I'm being kind of consistently. This looks beautiful, by the way. So this is a nice base just to make sure that on average i'm being consistently active um and getting out of the house i also use it to manage my stress i use their meditation tools like a few times a week when i'm feeling particularly highly strung you know it is just my little workout buddy i wear it for all my workouts i feel really naked if i don't have my fitbit on and i know that quite a lot of you guys got one for christmas so i hope you're loving it the model that i have is the fitbit sense 2 in the shade luna white which is like an off-white color i think it's quite chic <laughs> so i thought i would share with you a few of my fitness goals and how fitbit is going to help me in achieving said goals so the first thing i'd like to achieve is a whole video in and of itself but basically increasing your calories every week like small little increases to help boost your metabolism and it is something that i tend to do after i go through a period of being in a calorie deficit your body adapts to the amount you're feeding it so you eventually will start only requiring the amount that you're eating um again there's loads of people who talk about it in far better detail than me so i'm not going to bore you with my poor excuse for science-based information here but that is the general gist um so i want to increase my calories this year 
up to slightly higher than what they were before. And you can track your calories on the Fitbit app if that is something that interests you. I also want to average 10,000 steps a day. So rather than being really, really strict about 10,000 steps every single day, I'm gonna look at the weekly average throughout the week and I want to hit at least 10,000 steps on average every single week this year. That's a yearly goal for me. I also just wanna get better at my sleep. Like. I went through a huge kind of sleep journey this year and I got to a really good place with it. I feel like I've taken kind of a step back in the past couple of months. Um, I've not been sleeping well at all. So I would like to get back on top of my sleep and I want to track my sleep using my Fitbit and try and get around seven to eight hours every night, which is a lot for me. That's how bad my sleep is. I want to hit a 60 kg bench press. I'm currently on 40 kgs for like six reps. I want to be able to do three reps of 60 kg and that seems really daunting and intimidating to me but I think I can do it. 60 kg bench, easy. I want to build my glutes this year. They've shrunk a little bit since my cut and since I took some time off training so I want to add a couple inches to the old gluteus maxi moose. I feel like that's a goal every year. Finally, I'd love to be able to do a pull up by the end of this year. I've always, always been so jealous of women who can do pull-ups and men, but particularly women who can do pull-ups. And I think um, I've always just been too scared to try because I'm scared I'm gonna embarrass myself because I had a really traumatic experience. I fell from the pull-up bar. I fell from the top and landed on my back and it was in the middle of the gym and it was absolutely mortifying and I've not attempted one since and that was about two years ago. Uh, so I want to do a pull up this year and honestly those are my main goals to enjoy my training Lift regularly. I want to try and average three to four lifts every week and keep track of everything Using my sense too. So if you guys would like to pick one up I will leave the Fitbit sense 2 link down below for you. It's an amazing tool. I absolutely love it like honestly if you're in the market for a new watch I couldn't recommend it more. I only got to my foundation, but I've finished talking now. <laughs> Thank you Fitbit for working with me over the past year. It's been so great. And uh, I will speak to you guys probably when my makeup's finished. <laughs> makeup is on. My hair is so greasy, so I've just put it back in a scrunchie. Scr the scrunchie life is for me, okay? Me and scrunchies, we're tight. <laughs> Hi loves, it's editing Emma on Sunday. The next clip is at midnight and Thursday was probably the bulk of this vlog. I vlogged so much on Thursday. I was so excited to edit the clips from Thursday. I've just imported it and the the memory card I filmed Thursday on. Luckily, I didn't film the whole vlog on this card, but Thursday's clips are all corrupt. I don't know what's happened to the card. Something's gone wrong. Um, but I've lost all of Thursday and I had such a productive day and I filmed so much of it. I'm so sad. I'm gonna try and duplicate Thursday's clips for you next week because I did loads of vintage uploads and I like time-lapsed me taking all the pictures and I also had a really long chat with you about something and got quite emotional on camera. I had a good old cry. It was happy tears, but it was a... <sighs> Sorry. Roll on. Thursday evening <laughs> after all the fun had happened. We have light. Sweet, sweet vision. It's midnight. This was an accident. I'm just whacking on some spot cream because I just got a giant spot has decided to erupt on my face today. I haven't really had a breakout like this in a long time. I don't know what's going on. I think it must be hormonal. I am due on my period. I say it, I always tell you, I feel like you guys are so in, <laughs> in tune with my cycle, but I just feel like, I do just feel like it's relevant. Like I'd say the vast majority of you guys watching me get periods unless, you know, an exception that you don't have periods or you choose to not have to have periods but 
you know, I feel like the majority of you probably do or have had periods at some point. And I feel like it gives you some context, you know? All I need to say is I'm on my period and you guys kind of get where I'm coming from, you know? Which is why I tell you about it. And it's also quite nice for me to document it because I can kind of track my mood and my behavior through my vlogs. And usually there is a pattern. My PMS is pretty bad, uh, but this time round, it's really coming out in my skin. Love that for me. I absolutely did not mean to be upstairs at midnight. <laughs> I just got stuck in a wormhole. This is what we call it, a wormhole. I just get complete time blindness. Like, I feel like I started drawing at like 7.30. Blinked, looked up and I was like, bloody hell, it's friggin' 10 to midnight. I need to go to bed immediately, immediately. I've got a nice day planned tomorrow, but it is quite busy and I have a meeting at 10 a.m. So I wanna be up, dressed, ready to go for the day uh, and do a little bit of work before my meeting because straight after my meeting tomorrow, I am actually going to a communal workspace in Arms' building. So one of my news resolutions, I don't know if I've said it online, but one of my news resolutions is to go to an open workspace, a communal workspace, at least once a week. Because I think, for me, being surrounded by people um, makes me a lot more productive. Like, a lot more productive. I feel, even though no one cares what I'm doing and no one's watching me, I feel much more... I feel almost like a bit of a pressure, like I should be working because there are people around. And it makes me concentrate, it makes me work. A lot of people um, work better in like quiet with no one around i work better when there's people around and when there's a bit of noise like when i get really into like drawing or doing things like worky things i like to have vlogs on in the background it's like almost like white noise and it actually really does help me focus and also it's a nice excuse to not be in the house one day a week it's a nice excuse to get a change of scenery and like re-inspire me in my work um and it also gives me like a time frame and it makes me get up get dressed and get out so i went to a couple last year and i really liked it but i just never got into the routine so this year i really want to get into the routine of going to communal workspaces so there's one in my town and then there's one arms is arm lives in, a, in an apartment block and it's a really nice apartment block and they have like a whole floor that's just like communal working. He's working from home tomorrow so he's just going to work in his flat but I'm going to go to the communal space and use it for the day and just use it like an office. I'm actually really excited. I'll take my iPad with me, my laptop, I've got a video to edit and loads of stuff to be doing on my yeah. iPad. Um, so I'm just going to go and have a work day there which I'm actually really, I think it will be really good for me. I've got a meeting here at 10. And then I want to go to the post office, drop off this ASOS return and some vintage parcels because you guys have bought so much of the stuff I've posted um, and I'm posting more next week and probably over the weekend as well. Maybe on Sunday I'll do some stuff as well. So if you go check it out, there'll definitely be some stuff up there to pick up. I really were like quick on the trigger to go get some stuff. So thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm still, I'm rambling. Emma, it's quarter past 12, mate. Um, why am I still talking? I have so, I feel, I have so much energy. Why? I'm really tired, but like I'm just feeling really chatty. I think it's because I, I think it's because I've had two separate social interactions today. And I often find when I have them, it makes me more extroverted. Like I channel off of the energy and it gives me more social energy until I have too much and then I need my time alone when i spend a lot of time alone i want a lot of time alone so i just feel really chatty now because i've been chatting to people all day uh it's interesting isn't it how the brain works i really really need to go to bed come with me let's go together come say good night to meryl <coughs> i think it's really been messing with my mood i was saying this to my dad earlier i think being in a dark house because i normally have like all the lights on and all the lamps on like i'm such like a, a moth i need I need light, it really messes with my head. I think it really has been affecting my mood. It might correlate with my down period last week. I literally haven't had light since before Christmas. So maybe that's partially it. 
You have got to be shitting me. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have a really productive morning. I'm gonna strip my bed and then I'll wash my sheets and then I'll remake my bed and I'll get into a lovely clean bed. I forgot. Oh, that is the worst. That is the worst feeling. You can relate. I know you can relate. You've done this before. Oh. <sighs> okay, now I am now I am tired. I'm wasting precious time. Let's make this damn bed. Do you want to know something funny that I think most men, not all men, but most men bond over? It's a hatred for throw pillows. <laughs> My dad finds them pointless. I think arms does. I know quite a lot of men do hate that I have six cushions that I put on my bed in the morning and take off at night and just put at the end of my bed. I don't know why, but I think they make me look like I've got my life together. Are you a lover or a hater of a decorative pillow? Let me know down below. I'd love to know. It's currently half midnight. This is not what I want to be doing right now. I can tell you that for free love. I also have a freakish number of pillows at the moment. I don't know why I've got six on my bed. We're going for the palm print sheets today. If you're wondering. Also, are you a sheet ironer? If you are, I look up to people like you. This is so crinkled. <laughs> oh, I just don't care. I just don't care right now. I'm just going to put a pillowcase on the pillow that my face touches tonight and I'll do the rest tomorrow. I can't do it anymore. Good night from me and the main girl Mez. What's the time? 12.33. Good night. <laughs> just kidding, I need to turn the camera off, silly. That was a very speedy get ready. Time for my meeting. Hello! I'm good, how are you? I am great, thank you. Sorry I'm late. Good. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I tried to open the meeting and it was just like, app updating, I was like, fuck you, man. <laughs> it's kind of expanded. She's gotten excited over Christmas. I had a break <laughs> and I had loads of time on my hands. Oh, I'd love to hear. Yeah, so <laughs> like, if yeah. it's shit, <laughs> that's the whole. <laughs> so it's kind of now yeah. the one thing I need to start with. And I also have another little thing that I want to ask of you. Let's right. maybe start with the logo. There we go. I don't know if you've seen it on Instagram. I do like regular little projects called like Project 265, Project 50, whatever. And it's like yeah. little challenges. The kind of theme of it is definitely like mental health and like self-improvement. And there's also going to be like, you know, elements of like fit fitness things. Like without it being too, there's that love. You yeah, because like, that's what I don't what I mean. want. I like yeah. I, I'm sure you pick up the vibe that I'm not like a, a yeah. live love yeah. love <laughs> hanging on my walls. Cute in like a quirky kind of way rather than like a, you know. So it's yeah. like 
if we find like a really cool stylized way of um, No, I really like that. Like I know that exactly cool what you mean. Like, yes, I yeah. love that. This is where you come into it. But I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know what like what embodies it's very much like a mind body soul collaboration which is why it's so difficult to like hone it in because the i like the most i feel like maybe what what feelings you want to emote from it or like end goals with that then i could come up with some okay stuff like that some i'll just say some items like images <laughs> i have I, I just like took the time between christmas and new year to just sit and draw and it's been so fun it's a clear vision of like what you're trying to do yeah and people seem to really resonate with that so yeah. i think it makes sense the next installment of the like instagram reel series but i'm doing it for 50 yeah. weeks instead of 50 days mm -hmm. and it's one reel a week so it's like an it accumulates clips from every single day. I like that I'm not bringing it out on the 1st of January. Like I feel like it's probably gonna be like April because it doesn't have to yeah. be the 1st of Jan to start changing. And I kind of wanted to do that intentionally. Like just yeah. having- No, I like that. Like, you know, you can change and improve and do whatever you want, whenever you want. The last remaining mug of positivity is in my possession. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jumping around because that's how my brain works. Exactly. Like the elevator. Generation yeah. two, baby, generation <laughs> two. I'm not, <laughs> not yet. Amazing, oh, that's exciting. Elevator, mm -hmm. which will be great. Sweet, because yeah. they'll be excited about that. And just to gauge, you know, how it, go, how it goes and like, you know. And that'll inform the next one we do. Yes, perfect. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a great idea. It's tricky. It, it is, I know. This is this is what stumped me the other day because I, but also, you know, yeah. shop local is nice. It is expensive and, but it is just, it does just feel so much more luxe. Glad, we, <laughs> glad I figured it out. Okay. Lovely little meeting. That went very well. I'm leaving about an hour later than planned, but. It is time to go to Arms' house and go do some work via the post office. <laughs> London Bridge, London Blackfriars, Monty, Biggles. I'm working from Arms' bed. Look at the setup. She's grinding. I'm working. I just, I just wanted to be here. I promise next week I'm gonna go to the, I promise myself, I promise myself that next week I'm gonna go. <laughs> That's Ben. But I just wanna work here, okay? Don't hate me. Mom's just on a call, which is why I'm whispering. I just um, posted my Vinted ad on my Instagram and, uh, I only have five items left, but I think by the time you watch the vlog, there may already be another ten things up. Go check out my vintage. This isn't sponsored. Boys are so loud. People say I'm loud, but I'm just sat here quietly, minding my own business. And they're friggin' grunting out there. I don't know what they're doing. Hello, it's Editing Emma, back again to do the Sunday sign off. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about those missing clips in the middle, so this vlog is quite short for, for me, for usual, but hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you to Fitbit for working with me over the past six months. I've really loved working with them. I will link the Sense to down below if you guys would like to pick it up for yourself. This is the end of our campaign. It's very sad. Um, but thank you guys for supporting this campaign. I've loved doing it so much. Oh, it's 11-11, make a wish. <laughs> but I need to quickly edit this vlog because I'm going for lunch with my dad and my sister and Albie. And I need to run, I need to leave in about 20 minutes. So I really need to hurry up. So thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it does really help my channel. I never ask you to give videos a thumbs up, but if you enjoy the weekly vlogs, please do give them a thumbs up. If you enjoy the weekly vlogs, make sure you give them a thumbs up because it does really make a difference for me. Um, and also subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you come back every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.